If you're on a diet, run from the TV, because here comes another patented UTR Best of Restaurant special. We'll have some sensational food in Saginaw, the grooviest breakfast ever in St. Ignace, and a seriously good sandwich in Oak Park. Then we jump to Jackson for a taste of Texas barbecue, Cacallan for a complete turkey dinner, and finally to Brutus for a crazy name and some fantastic fried chicken. Get ready to enjoy a ton of eats that can't be beat on Under the Radar Michigan. Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing Development Authority, investing in people, places, and partnerships to help transform Michigan and the Michigan economy. In cities, towns, and neighborhoods, people are building better places to live and better communities. We all have one, that perfect spot, a special place we go to smooth out the ripples of the day. Our perfect spot is calling. Our perfect spot is pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. And by Big B Coffee, celebrating 18 years as a Michigan company. Gift cards, mugs, and coffee by the pound available in store and online. Franchise info available at biggby.com. I've been around the world, but there's one place I keep coming back to. And the more I explore, the more I realize it's the place to be. I'm Tom Dalton, and this is Under the Radar Michigan. Hey there, food lovers. I'm at Joe's Hamburgers in Wyandotte with my good buddy, Jeremy, for another one of our official UTR Best of Restaurant specials. And this time we're gonna dig deep into season three for some awesome eateries. Speaking of eateries, Tom, I challenge you to eat seven Jalapeno Joe sliders, one between each segment of the show. Jeremy, I accept that challenge. And while I'm doing this, why don't you guys check out this heart and soul on a roll in Saginaw? Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. You got seven more to go. You know, the good thing about a bad restaurant is you can always get a good seat. But the bad thing about a good restaurant is, well, you know where I'm going with that. The locals told us that if you're looking for great food, come to Fralia's. And if you're looking for a seat, you better come early. We come here probably three times a week. It's a different place to go. It has fresh, kind of fun food, not just your normal chain food. The atmosphere is awesome. The people are cool. They always remember you when you come back. And it's really cool. I like it. This place, somebody, somebody put some heart and soul in the sandwich. And it was fantastic. Those hearts and souls belong to Jenny and Adam Bolt, two creative entrepreneurs who've brought a great food philosophy to Saginaw's Old Town. Made from scratch uh, is the key. You know, it tastes better. You know, we have this mom's recipes on the no-bakes and mom's recipes on the, you know, magic bars, the soups, all that, as much as you can. And we have something for everybody. You know, a Braunschweiger, I can't believe how many we sell of those. I just love it. And it's, you know, um, kind of old time. You know, like, you know, back in the day sandwiches we try to do and, you know, not get too crazy, but just be good. Well, now tell me a little bit about Adam's background, because he's back there slaving away in the kitchen while we're out here talking. Oh, I know. The funny thing is we grew up as kids. There's high school sweethearts, so we, the Old Town's our home. And so, you know, he's an artist at heart. He was an uh, art major his whole life. And then one day he was at Western going to school, and he goes, started cooking for all his roommates and everybody. He goes, I think I want to go into cooking. I was like, okay, it's, it's an art in itself. And then he went to cooking school, and uh, we had a child, and we're like, what better way to go back home? And then here we are. Now, earlier on, the mayor mentioned how close Saginaw is to everything. So just imagine how close you are to some amazing ferret fralias. Food for thought. Well, next we head up to St. Ignace in the UP for the coolest cat to ever own a finer diner. Burger number two for you, Tom. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Java Joe's is a tuned in, turned on, psychedelic greasy spoon with great coffee, excellent food, and it's run by two of the most interesting and energized people you'll ever meet. Joe and Sandy Durham make this place go, go, and go. And if your brain needs a jump start, this place will make you think about stuff you haven't even thought of yet. After seeing this place, and then after coming down from seeing it, I, I have to believe this is a destination in St. Agnes. It, it has truly become, it, it, it amazes me, as a matter of fact, the people that will come here from Alpena, from Lansing, and they are, it is a destination. They'll come up and they'll stay in these motels here just simply so that, they, that it's convenient to hear. Well, I also I get the impression that this is a lot more than just a diner. It, it, it is, it's, it's a discussion, <laughs> is what it is. 
I, every every single, we'll do 300 breakfasts in the morning. And I talk to every single person that comes in the door. And I talk to them at length and, and, and about everything. And, and we even sometimes <clears throat> get into politics and religion. Believe it or not. And, and, I believe and, it after me. <laughs> it's a, uh, but we try, and you know, it, it's always a discussion. It's not an argument, and it's a discussion. And I mean, it, it, looking at this place, you kind of get an idea of, of what my politics are. Right. Uh, it, but but yeah, I don't, I don't put signs out. I don't put. Right. You welcome everyone. I welcome right. absolutely everyone. I mean, you're here. <laughs> and, yeah, and, thanks and so, for being you know, it, it, it. <laughs> Now, How would you even just begin to describe this place? I'm speechless. When we opened here 14 years ago, the magic word was funky. And, and, and we followed through the whole the whole 14 years. It had to stay just as funky. And, and it just it, it just was an automatic. And, and it's so different than everything else in our area. I mean, it, it, it just, it sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> well, actually, or, no, or, no, it sticks out like a happy thumb. Like a happy right. thumb. It really is. And you must, what are you trying to employ half the town? You have three we, places now? We have, we have 50 employees this summer. And, and, it, and we're probably one of the larger uh, private employers. And we've added, last year we had about 32, 33. Well, now you've got Java Joe's. Got Java Joe's. And then down the street. Mojo's. And then Jose's Cantina. I had a great time with Java Joe. And if our conversation wasn't enough to clue you in and fill you up, be sure to drop by and meet him for yourself. And trust me, when your head stops spinning, you'll be glad you did. Hey, I like that guy. Cool name, too. Here's number three. What are they, too spicy for you, Tom? Are you kidding, baby? I'm just getting started. All oh, right. speaking of baby, here's a place in Oak Park you're gonna totally dig, baby. Ooh, are they hot? <laughs> We're in Oak Park, and I got a guy I guarantee you're gonna love, or my name ain't Baby. Baby. Here you go, baby. We're gonna rock, baby. We're gonna roll. We're gonna tear it up, you and I. When you walk into Ernie's, you can't help but feel the love. Who loves you, baby? Ernie. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> darling. For decades, Ernie's been at the heart of this neighborhood, and for good reason. He fills your tummy and feeds your soul. How are you? I'm Put good. your hand up here. What? Why? Put your hand. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? I think. Look out, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. I like this place already. <laughs> All righty, baby. Because we love you, baby. That's the bottom line. And the bottom line is that guys like Ernie don't grow on trees. This guy's personality is 11 billion times bigger than the sandwiches he serves up. Ernie's isn't just a sandwich shop, it's a total experience. We're gonna hook you up yeah. now. Can you, you talk really? while you make a sandwich? Oh, yeah, yeah. can I talk? Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I oh. wanna ask you something. How come everybody's name is Baby in this neighborhood? Because we love them. Everybody is a baby to somebody. Right, so everybody's baby. Oh. I call everybody Buddy because I can't remember names. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. what's my name? Hey, baby, your name's hey, Baby. Hey, baby, <laughs> all right. How long have you been making sandwiches? Well, let's see now. We've been making sandwiches for a long time, let's say 50 years, but I've only, let's say the last 20 years that I really got into the sandwich right. thing. What's, now, what's the history of this place? Well, my dad, my grandfather was here. Hmm. I've been here ever since 55. I've been told that people come here almost more for you than the sandwiches, is that true? Well, I hope for both. <laughs> because we want them to come for you, we want them to come for me, we want to be number one. We want to be exciting. We want the uh, sandwich to be number one. We want it to be best. Oh my God, look at all the stuff you're putting on it. That's awesome. Wait till you taste it. Um, the taste is where it's right. at. Now there's no doubt that Ernie's colossal sandwiches are second to none, but it's the love that he puts into them that keeps his loyal fans coming back for more. He always makes my day when I come in here. It is so nice. It's nice to go into a place and have somebody that friendly. You don't see that very often, that's for sure. What makes this guy so special? Uh, he's out of this world. He's from a different planet. <laughs> that's right, Come baby. On, baby. <laughs> so what do you think about this guy? That's my boyfriend. I love him. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> da, da, da. Hey, baby. It is the love spice. I knew it. Yeah. yeah. Bring your hand here, baby. We love you. Come here, baby. Don't be going over there. Come on now. You're not gonna hide. Thank you, baby. We love you. What do you think this, this place means to these people? Well, I would hope we are a, um, what's the terminology? If popular? They, uh, no, not popular. 
If you were, the male lady was sick, where did she come? Here. If the young boy was being chased by somebody, where do they come? It's a safe haven, because they know Ernie will... Ernie will protect you and feed you. That's exactly, <laughs> darling. See, the people. See, once you have that sandwich, you're going to get hungry for it. You never had it, so you can't get hungry for it. But every once in a while, you feel like a hot dog. Mm. Sometimes you feel like a pizza. Sometimes you want an Ernie sandwich. Right. And that's an Ernie sandwich. It's the, it's the love spice, isn't it? Heavy! Love spice. Yeah, that's I don't even it. want to know what it is. <laughs> that, that, oh, it's all yeah. Good. It's all good. That's exactly, sir. We left Ernie's Market with a pocket full of candy, a belly full of food, and a real understanding for what makes this great neighborhood click. I'm telling you, if you haven't met Ernie, oh baby, you don't know what you're missing. That was great, baby. Ernie's awesome, baby. You did a great job, yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 oh. Tom, baby. Oh, you baby, too, baby, that was great. Yeah, okay, baby. <laughs> yeah, oh, baby. But Tom, I believe you're sweating. No, I'm not, sort of. This is Michigan, not Texas. Yeah, but I like my food Texas hot. Oh, and speaking of Texas, if you like real barbecue, here's a place in Jackson you should totally check out. Giddy up. Did you write this? Sure did. If you're a fan of authentic West Texas barbecue and you live in Michigan, you're pretty much out of luck. But then again, today could be your lucky day. Actually, this is your lucky day because you're at the West Texas Barbecue Company. Dan Huntoon and his son Justin took a chunk of Texas, slow smoked it, and brought it all the way to Jackson for all y'all to enjoy. If you're looking for a no frills, real deal barbecue joint, these meat men are the men to meet. And all I can say is, huh, them some good eats. So how did a boy from Jackson, Michigan grow up to be the West Texas barbecue king? Well, it's a long story. I don't know if you've got time to hear it today. But We're staying for lunch too, so I got time. Um, but I got in trouble with the law when I was a kid. And ended up in Texas on a little guest ranch and uh, we cooked barbecue. And it's an old gal, she was in her 80s, her name was Nanny Bush. Nanny Bush. Yep, and she taught me how to cook barbecue. Down in Texas. Down in Texas. So for us Yankees, what's the difference between like regular barbecue that we're used to and Texas barbecue? Well, we still fight that here. A lot of our customers uh, will call and want to know if we barbecue meat, and we have to be very careful. Yeah. What we consider barbecue is cooked with wood. You know, we put the dry seasoning on, that's what makes this nice crust on this brisket. And what they're talking about is chopped up meat in barbecue sauce like a sloppy joe. Right. Um, so that's the, that's the big difference. Now I notice there's a pink ring yep. around the meat. What does that mean? That's a smoke ring. That's how you tell you're eating real barbecue. And it's smoked with, with, you don't use charcoal or gas, you use real wood. No. Oh my gosh, yeah. that looks so Real bad. wood, we use oak and hickory, a mixture of. Right. If you notice, this is pretty lean. Right down in the meat, there's not a lot of fat in there. Yeah. Well, once you get down in this brisket a little more, and by the way, that fat is the good part. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't don't tell is, my doctor, but yeah, I believe you. Fat is flavor. <laughs> I saw in the back of Justin's shirt that you guys were voted best barbecue in Michigan? Yep, by M Live. That's a good vote of confidence from the people. All right. uh, Jackson's not a big place. We got a lot of good customers here and a lot of good customers that come from elsewhere. What I love about this place is it's it's authentic. There's nothing fancy about it. It's real. It's like you'd see down in Texas. It's just like the places. That's what I patterned it after and it and it's not a knockoff. We didn't try to make it look like one. And it's an old-fashioned Texas barbecue joint. You know, it's hot brown and plenty of it. <laughs> and, and it ain't fancy. As for Justin, well, we found him outside smoking. Meat, that is. Now, you actually moved away from Jay. You were in the Air Force, right? I was in the Air Force for over eight years. Did the, and you travel the world. Did the, did the barbecue bring you back, honestly? Oh, yes. I had to have uh, barbecue rubs sent to Afghanistan when I was deployed so I could season up ribs and cook them for my friends. Your dad sent them to you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is what? That's a brisket. That's a beef brisket. Well, how long has that yeah. been in the oven there? This, this went in at 7 o'clock last night. Um, so 16 to 18, sometimes even 20 hours. Is that a single serving? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you'll go into a food coma after that, <laughs> definitely. That's fine with me. Um, the people in Jackson must be thrilled that you guys are here because we were just all saying on the crew, we wish we had a place like this where we live. I mean, do a lot of people know about you guys? 
we're still kind of a little bit of a secret. Even people that drive down the road, you know, they've known us as a catering business for over 25 years. So it is kind of a surprise that we do that we do lunch. You know, our, our big marketing thing is having that fire down by the road. You know, people see that and that kind of draws them in. And boy howdy does it ever. By lunchtime, the parking lot was packed with cars and this place was completely full of people, proving that, well, in the vernacular of the West Texas countryside, it don't get none not no better. Hee-haw. Okay, Jeremy, you start this one. How's your tummy, Tommy? What hamburger is this, Jeremy? Number five. I am getting kind of full. And speaking of being full, how would you like to have a complete Thanksgiving Day dinner anytime that you want it? That sounds great. Well, here's a segment that's calling your name. Huh? Is that any good? Perfect. <laughs> we nailed one. Nice. Imagine if you could have Thanksgiving dinner any day you wanted to. Well, stop imagining, because of the turkey roost, you totally can. And I'm totally gonna. Turkey, 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 turkey. Oh, how was your turkey? Good? Wonderful. Oh, good. Strawberry shortcake and then five of us. Oh, <laughs> turkey, turkey, turkey. This little pink building in Cacallan, Michigan is a landmark for people who know what they love. And what they love is a great turkey dinner with all the trimmings whenever they want it. Todd Baller is the man who eats, thinks, sleeps, serves, and even talks turkey. As we drove up today, I couldn't miss the building. Was there a sale on pink paint or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the pink was when uh, their first owner was named Clayton Kitchen, of all names. His name was Kitchen? Kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. They called him Kitch. Um, they could never remember the name Turkey Roost when he started out, so they painted the building pink to get a little landmark. So he knew how to find his way to work? Exactly. <laughs> So uh, the pink stayed with us. And this place has been, I mean, this place is a landmark. And it's been here since when? 1955. July of 55 it started. Whoa. And you worked here as a kid? Yeah, not in 1955. No, I know that. I can, I can figure that one out. I, I came here in 1975, yeah, in high school at 14. I stayed here all the way through the high school years. And then I took a job in the shops. And then I always wanted to come back and buy it. Always had that in my heart. I love doing dishes. I love watching the cooking. You love doing dishes? Oh, absolutely. And my grandma. Want to rent a room at my house? <laughs> <laughs> and my grandma always says, she says, the best part of me is when you can feed people. They're always happy. That's why we have our holidays and all that. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I got that same feeling. So I, I want to buy this someday. So what happened is I, I took every aspect of this shop uh, from the scheduling, from the ordering, from the traffic, the trucking, um, uh, orchestrating people. And that all paid off, and I come back and bought that uh, second owner out. Well, you serve the happiest meal of all. You serve Thanksgiving dinner, you know, 365 days a year. Every day, yes. Yeah. How many turkeys do you go through here? Last year, we went through 37, a little over 3,734 uh, pound birds. Really? Yes. What do you think this place means to this entire region? You know, it's a landmark. We have a lot of return customers. We're at the third and fourth generation people coming back now, which is wonderful, you know, and we hear it a lot, and we're happy over that. Uh, the other part of it is, is um, we are the biggest employer in the township, so which is a nice thing too, and uh, we want to keep going. I've been coming here for about 50 years. I was coming here when it had turkeys out here in the fence in a little cage. And I come here twice a day and about seven days a week. <laughs> I'm here every day. For 50 years? Yeah, just about. We love the people, the waitresses, the Todd himself, um, the food is phenomenal. I've known Todd since he's about five years old. And you're still talking to him? <laughs> On occasions. I love this restaurant. I've been coming here since I was a little girl. Easter Sunday was our thing, all in our bonnets and everything. We came to the Turkey Roost every single Easter Sunday. I remember coming here with my grandparents when I was maybe five or six years old, so it's been quite a while. And then we moved up to the Colin area, and now we come here all the time. You ever get tired of turkey? No. <laughs> Not the way it's prepared here, you know. People talk about this place, they almost talk about you like your family. So you must be taking care of people. That's what I'm all about personally, and that's what we are about here. So it's no wonder why people love this place and this guy so much. But being the inquisitive, hard-driving correspondent that I am, I had to ask Todd one final and very important question. What do you eat on Thanksgiving? Our turkey plate. You still eat the turkey, turkey plate? plate? <laughs> I still eat our turkey plate, yes. <laughs> well, there you go. It's got to be good. <laughs> yes. We came real hungry, left real full, and with a real appreciation for what Todd and the turkey rooster are all about. Friends, family, and community. 
Oh, and a homemade turkey dinner anytime you want it. <laughs> Bonus. So whose idea was it for me to eat so many burgers? It was yours. It was? Yeah. Oh, well they are awful tasty. And speaking of tasty, here's a tasty place up in Brutus that has a really cool name. Will you burp me? I sure will. Does that feel better? Thank you. There you go. <laughs> hey, we're about to eat at a place that claims to have the best chicken in the world, which is pretty fitting since we have the best TV show in the world. <laughs> oh yeah. About 20 miles south of the Mackinac Bridge, somewhere between Brutus and Pelston is the Dam Site Inn. And Ray and Pam East are one part of four generations that take care of this retro landmark. Honestly, tell me, does Austin Powers come in here? No, but he'd be welcome. Oh my gosh, it's like sophisticated and groovy all at the same time. Well, it was literally made, I, what you see was like the 50s dinner club, and they made it to look like that because that's what was refined and, and wonderful. And now, like you said, it's been so long that that's come back into fashion. But oh, this is hip again. Original. Oh, what are the walls made out of? What's that material? It's Naugahyde from the Buick company. Both the original owner and his brother-in-law worked for Buick. And, and just brought the material up here? And... all Naugahyde, car Naugahyde, the boomerang patterns and... Well, tell me about these funky chairs. These are Aero Saarinen. Um, he designed these. He worked for... Uh, Charles Ames. Well, he's famous. He, did, he designed the, the St. Louis, Louis Arch. Arch and the JFK Airport. And these are originals? These are originals. Yep, they are absolute originals. Well, I can't imagine anything chicer than on Saturday night sitting in here with a cocktail. Yeah. Plus, I like the padded bar just in case I've had one too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured before that happens, I better get out and chat with some of the dam site's loyal patrons. What do you love about this restaurant? Well, I mean, the, the atmosphere, the food, I mean, just everything. It's our favorite place to come. Love it. I've been coming here for 30 years, and it reminds me of back in the 1950s, and uh, I, I just love it. It's the greatest. Have you eaten at the haunted table? No. There's a haunted table here, you know. I did not know that. It's over there. Who's making that noise? <laughs> <laughs> it's this guy here. <laughs> so you moved up here from Royal Oak. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you love about this area? Uh, you know what? I love the open areas, the space, the wildlife, the, the trees, the clean air in the morning. I mean, this is where, this is the place to bring kids, and that's what I love. I... Well, what brought us here is two things. One, this bar. I, I wanted to see this bar. The bar is pretty, pretty oh. fantastic, yeah. <laughs> the second thing is, I understand you have the best chicken in, in the, the world. world. Let's say it together. In, in the, the world. world. Um, how is that even possible? It is possible. And, you know, it's, it's a very simple flour, salt, and pepper, and it's cooked in hot oil. And the original owner had some fryers made up. They're actually handmade for us for the operation, and they've been in use since 1960. So, and they're still used. We, we baby them, but uh, there's nothing like it. It's, it's pan-fried. It's not deep-fried. It's not pre-broasted and then, you know, pan-fried. It's, it's amazing. Well, sometimes the simplest recipes are the best. Absolutely. Another thing I heard about this place is Anybody, not just TV show hosts, but anybody is allowed to just walk back in your kitchen. Absolutely. It says right on our menu that our kitchen is open for your inspection. We're known for the cleanliness of our restaurant, and that's a real hallmark for us. Well, I want to sit at the haunted table, and I want to have some of your best chicken in, in the, the world. world. <laughs> well, as promised, Pam sat us at the haunted table. But we were so hungry, and the food was so good, I don't remember ever seeing a ghost. Hey, did you guys see that? No. So if your dream restaurant has great fried chicken, a retro bar, a haunted table, an awesome family, and a dam right outside the back window, you're not dreaming. You're at the damn side in. You know, Jeremy, these aren't so spicy anymore, but maybe it's because my head's getting numb. Maybe your head's numb because of your show. Well, maybe it's numb because of your acting. Takes one to know one. I know you are, but what am I? Nah. Mm. 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 Hey folks, you want to become part of the League of Extraordinary UTR Super Friends? It's super easy. Just go to utrmichigan.com. You can watch episodes, tell us where to go next, get information on all the places we've been, and even get UTR wearables like I'm sporting right here. Oh, and you can even get our new book, Under the Radar, The First 50, featuring our first 50 episodes and DVDs of all of our shows. So become a UTR Super Friend today. Go to utrmichigan.com. It's super cool and super easy. Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing Development Authority, investing in people, places, and partnerships to help transform Michigan and the Michigan economy. 
In cities, towns, and neighborhoods, people are building better places to live and better communities. We all have one, that perfect spot, a special place we go to smooth out the ripples of the day. Our perfect spot is calling. Our perfect spot is Pure Michigan. Your trip begins at Michigan.org. The Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure series raises funds and awareness in the breast cancer fight, celebrates survivorship, and honors those who have lost their battle. Everyone is welcome. Find a Komen Race for the Cure in more than 140 cities at Komen.org. Hey there, food lovers. I'm at Joe's Hamburgers in Wyandotte with my buddy, Jeremy, for another one of our official UTR Best of Restaurant specials. And this time we're going to go deep into season three for some awesome eateries. But my buddy Jeremy here is, uh, well, he's sort of a... <laughs> and this time we're going to go deep into season three for some awesome eateries. But uh, Jeremy here is, his phone is going off. I... Time out one second. Should I look at the Canon word or in the lens? In the lens. Okay. Hey there, food lovers. I'm at Joe's Hamburgers in Wyandotte with my good buddy, Jeremy, for another one of our authentic, really cool best of <laughs> Woo! Okay, wait. Hey, I like that name. <laughs> here's number three. <laughs> oh, and speaking of Texas, if you like real barbecue, here's a place in Jackson you should totally check out. Giddy up!